Guys, if you are watching this video, you are probably struggling with the Android storage. And if yes, then today's video, I will be exactly sharing with you guys five tips to free up your Android storage. So guys, be sure to try this five tips and I will guarantee you that you will never run out of storage on your Android device. So guys, this is Rushikesh Barkade from Repixel back here with another brand new video on the channel after a long time. But anyway, guys, let's get started with this video. Guys, before I begin this video, I just want to tell you guys that on this channel we post some amazing android related content every sunday so if you're really interested into that then be sure to subscribe right now okay guys let's start with the tip number one every smartphone comes with some sort of bloatware if you guys don't know what is bloatware bloatware are those applications which comes pre-installed on your phone by the smartphone manufacturer there are two ways to delete bloatware first one requires a root and second one does not require a root for today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys the method which does not require a root. So to do that, you just need to go to settings. Once you reach the settings, you need to find the section of apps. Once you reach into the section of apps, then find the bloatware which you want to uninstall from your phone. Just tap on that. Now here you will see the disable button. Just tap on it. After tapping on that, the bloatware will be uninstalled from your phone. The amount of storage occupied by that bloatware will be free up. In this way, you can free up a lot more storage of your device. Moving on to the tip number two, which is to delete unwanted application from your phone. Yes, this may sound like dumb, but just take a look at your app drawer and see which apps you don't use that much or might be using rarely. Straightly uninstall such application because there might be an app which you don't use frequently and still holding your internal storage. Uninstalling such apps from your phone will free up a lot more memory. Tip number three is for WhatsApp users. If you use WhatsApp to send media file to someone, WhatsApp creates a duplicate file of that media file. So let's say you send 5 MB of media file using WhatsApp. So WhatsApp creates a duplicate version of that 5 MB media file. This can hold up a large amount of your internal storage. So you should delete the sent folder of WhatsApp. To delete the sent folder of WhatsApp, you need to have the file manager, which everyone have. So open up the file manager and go to the internal storage. Once you reach here, find the folder of WhatsApp. Or if you use the GB WhatsApp, then find the folder of GB WhatsApp. Once you reach into the WhatsApp folder, go into the media folder. Now from the media folder, you will see many folders. Now here you have to delete the sent folder from each folder. So delete the sent folder from WhatsApp images, WhatsApp documents and WhatsApp videos. This will help you a lot. Tip number four is to use cloud storage instead of SD card or internal storage. There are two benefits of using cloud storage over the internal storage or SD card. First one is your data will be more safe on cloud storage and the second one is that your internal storage will stay free. There are many cloud services in the market but most of them requires money for the extra storage. But the best one is the Diggo application which gives you 100 gigabytes of cloud storage on which you can store photos, videos, document and files. I have already made a video on Diggo application on my channel. You can check that video right here. In that video, I covered every Thing about Diggo application so be sure to watch that video out but anyway guys this app will surely help you to free up the internal storage so guys the last but not the least is the tip number five which is to use add to home screen feature almost every browser have this feature so you can use it with any of the browser this feature is very useful but most of the people ignore it sometimes we use apps which have exact same web version of it like amazon facebook instagram twitter instead of wasting storage on such apps you can add a shortcut of them in to your home screen to do that you just need to open any of the browser that you use now go to the site which you want to make the shortcut of once you reach to that site just tap on the option icon like this 
then tap on the add to home screen option name the shortcut and tap on ok shortcut will be created on your home screen by tapping on that shortcut you can directly reach to that site this will help you a lot so guys those were the five tips to free up your android storage i hope that this helped you out and if it did then be sure to smash a like to this video subscribe to our youtube channel for more fresh tech videos like this for the future and with that being said i'll talk to you guys in the next video peace out